So it's 10 days after I grafted the cells into this long mini. And it's a Wednesday afternoon after work. So I haven't got time to do anything with these cells today. So all I'm gonna do is put them in little roller cages and let them emerge into the cage. And then on the weekend, I'll have time to do something with the Virgin Queens. So this is why I like these long black um, cell cups because they they fit together nicely with these roller cages. If you use the JZBZ type cell cups they don't fit into these type of roller cages very well so you see these ones just jam in there like that with a bit of wax around it so i'm just going to put pop them in the bottom there and they can stand up on the bottom on the floor of the hive uh, these cells are too close together on the bar to put the cages on them so i'm just breaking them off there they're not massive cells, but they're just decent looking queen cells. So we'll see what emerges out of them and deal with them on the weekend. So this is jumping forward. I'm just showing you here how I've got them in the bottom of the hive there like that. And the bees will keep them warm and they'll emerge in there. So it's uh, Saturday now in this clip. So I'll just take the cages out and see that see that the queens have emerged properly. So I'll just make a little bit of room there and grab the cages out might be able to see a queen in there running around there's another one <coughs> might be able to see that one better you can see the little queen in there moving around so all four of them emerged successfully so that's great so I just want to check each one and then put them in an introduction cage just trying to get there she goes out onto my hands there and I just want to see that her feet are okay her wings are okay she did a little fly there so that that looked all right so now I can pop her in there and ready to go in a hive so you might have seen my one of my short videos I had an incident where a vir it was actually two virgins got damaged when they were in the roller cages uh, the bees in the hive for some reason chewed their feet and yeah that's really not what you want you want nice healthy virgin with six feet six legs and two wing uh, four wings so i'm just checking here that they're okay They often don't want to come out on their own, so so they're decent looking queens. They're not the biggest I've ever bred, but they're they're okay. But the conditions aren't the best for queen breeding at the moment. But I just thought I'd have a bit of an experiment, and this is what I've got. So 
here's the third one here now. Once again, she looks good. Nice strong legs, which are important for a queen. She looks like she's got nice healthy wings, so that's good. Carefully put her in the cage without crushing her. It's probably ideal not to handle virgins like this. Um, you know, they can pick up the smell off your hands or any any sort of um, contamination off your hands. So it's probably, really, ultimately, it's better if the cells just emerge in the mating nukes. But just the way it turned out, I had to emerge them into cages this week and handle them like this. So now I need to find suitable mating nukes. So this one is the conversion one from the last couple of videos. Now the queen in this was a little emergency queen. She was raised in one of the tiny little commercial minis. So she's a bit runty, as in she's a bit small. And last time I was in here, she wasn't laying. So I'm just looking now to see whether she's producing brood and, and what it looks like. Just take the opportunity to put the sidebars on this frame. So the ultimate goal for this one is to expand it into a long mini and put it through winter in that configuration. So all this queen's got to do is be good enough to be the head of the uh, hive, you know, a long mini hive, which isn't too much to ask. But it turns out she's got these frames all full of brood and it looks really nice. So I'm confident that she's doing a decent job. If I wasn't happy with what I saw, I was going to get rid of this queen and put one of the virgins in here. So get a glimpse at her here. See, she's not real big. But she's got a nice plump abdomen and she's doing a decent job, so she gets to stay on. So this one here is the old queen, the old Super Seger queen. And same story, if, if I'm not happy with what I see in this nuke today, I'm going to take her out and get rid of her and put a virgin back in here. But as it turns out, she's got some really nice looking brood in these couple of brood frames here. And this frame I've got at the moment, I'm actually gonna graft out of this later in the afternoon in this video. It's got the right age larvae down the bottom there. So we'll just get a quick glimpse at the queen here now. There she is. And she's still doing a decent job. So I'm not gonna kill her and replace her with a virgin today. She can stay on for now. So my only option now is I've got a few commercial minis in the yard, so I'll go through them and see if any of them need a queen. So I haven't been through this one for a while and you can see they haven't got a feeder in them. So they've been fending for themselves and they're actually doing pretty well. So they're a good strong mini nuke. 
there's never much going on at the on the front frame in these ones it's just a little bit of honey but you can see there a decent brood pattern there that's about as good as it gets in these mini nukes so there's a decent little queen in here so I'm going to catch her and use her to requeen one of my main hives that I'm not happy with there she is there I haven't got a queen cage with me so I'm just trying to catch her and hold her in my hand Just hold her like that in my fist and go and get a cage so I've done that now because these don't have a feeder in them I'm just giving them a little piece of fondant and I can just put that in the bottom and they'll they'll feed off that no worries although they have got a couple of frames of honey there oh well one decent comb of honey but just give them a bit of fondant there so that they can feed that virgin up and give her energy to go on a mating flight. I think that's very important. So I'm putting that virgin in there, in that gap there. And hopefully they accept her. And I'll check back in a couple of weeks and hopefully find that queen mated. The one thing with bringing nukes up to a table like this is sometimes you get a heap of nurse bees on the table, which is a nuisance. Those nurse bees have got no idea where they are, so they can't just fly home. So I'm just trying to get them to go back in back in their hive so I decide to just use the inner cover there and just scrape them into the hive so on to the next mini nuke so I'm hoping to find a mated queen in here and I'll replace her with a virgin This is one that I showed recently. The queen had just started to lay, but I wasn't sure about her laying pattern, so I just wanted to give her a bit more time. You can get a glimpse of the brood there on that next comb. It looks pretty good. And there's the queen. I'll show you here, there. So I've just got her in my hand there now and I'll put her in this and I'll often just run into the cage so I'll put some attendance in with this one I'll probably use her to requeen one of my hives out of my apiary. So I'm happy with that queen, she looks good. 
So I've got virgin here now. It's actually a little bit too much honey in this one. There's really three full combs, or three and a half. But I can just press her in that bit of comb there and then she's right next to that brood comb. But I ended up coming back to this one and taking out one of those frames of honey later on. So here's the next one here. This one obviously doesn't have a feeder, so they're a bit light on for honey. That little comb there is pretty dry, just a little bit of brood. But you can see the brood there, it's definitely got a laying queen in here, so I'll just find her now and take her away and put the Virgin Queen back in here. So there she is. Once again, I'll put attendance in with this one. Could be a day or two before I get her in a hive. It's one thing I should mention with the virgins, you can't keep them in a, in a cage without attendance for very long at all. Otherwise they just die. The mated queen will last a little bit longer, but they need attendance with them too. I just took that dry comb away and brought back that comb of honey from the previous nook. So this comb's a little bit damaged down the bottom so I decided just to um, press the little queen cage in there. So hopefully they like her all right and accept her. So I've got a piece of fondant there. Once again, they need a bit of energy. Now this one actually raised an emergency queen for itself. Um, yeah, I took a queen out of here and used it elsewhere and I didn't have any grafted cells or anything. So I just let this one raise its own emergency queen. So I haven't been in here for a while. I've just been poking a little bit of feed into the back and leaving them alone. So I've got a nice bit of capped honey there, which is good to see. So this queen's just started to lay recently. She hasn't got any capped brood on that comb, just a lot of open brood. Get a glimpse at her there. She's a dark queen. See her there? She's 
decent size. You can see there she's got a nice long abdomen. And she's got a nice brood pattern in this hive, so I'll use her somewhere else to make a split or something. So once again, put some attendants in. I usually do five or six. That one didn't want to go in. So now with, with this virgin, I'm just putting a, once again in that little gap beside the comb. Got to be a bit careful that honey doesn't run down onto the virgin queen and cover her. They sort of suffocate if that happens. And there's no workers in with her to clean her off. Now this queen here, I haven't got any virgins left, but I wanted to check on this queen because she's actually that queen I showed in one of my short videos. And she's got two damaged legs. Um, she was quite a nice looking queen other than the leg problem so I wanted to put her in a nuke and see if she'd mate and do anything so we'll have a look at her now I think she's on this next comb There she is down the bottom corner there. You might be able to tell when she moves. Her legs aren't quite right. as you can see there she's producing brood so she's been out and mated and she's back again and yeah her brood actually looks pretty good so I'm obviously not going to sell her or anything crazy like that but it's just a bit of an experiment and we'll see we'll see how far she gets in life So this is that, this is the old supersedure queen and I fed these about an hour ago in this clip so they've actually filled up some of these empty cells with the sugar, sugar water feed and I've got a little cell bar there and I'm going to have try another round of grafting. So what I did was I just found a, a little comb of brood from another strong mini and put it into the cell razor. And I'm just grafting this another bar of um, six cells here from the old Super Siege Queen and see if they can raise another round of cells. So 
So once again, I had real trouble grafting with the veil on. I ended up taking it off and it was a lot easier without the veil. The grafting's a bit out of shot, I'm sorry, but I'm sure you get the idea of what I'm doing. Just transferring the worker larvae into the queen cell cups. Sometimes you miss the larvae, but you end up with royal or a bit of worker jelly on the reed. So you can just push that off into the queen cup. And then you've got a bit of extra jelly there to graft, on, graft the larvae onto. So I've got the six done there now. So I just quickly put that back together and Go and put it in that queenless long mini. Thanks guys.